back to another exciting and thrill-filled adventure with DIY Nautical Dream. Okay, maybe that was a little over the top. Anyways, we'll go ahead and get our next video started. Here at top, Sunrise Lake Peak. Welcome back to another episode of DIY Nautical Dream. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Rich. Together, Together we, we make DIY Nautical, Nautical Dream. Dream. It's a very nice view yep, behind ele us. Elevation here is about 6,500 feet or maybe a little more. And uh, yeah, we, we're, we're breathing. We're struggling. Yeah, we, we breathe a little hard walking up some hills here. But yeah. Just wanted to share the beautiful background, a beautiful view of Mount Rainier in the background with you guys and hope you enjoy. All right, so we just want to give a real quick summary about this video. So we're going to gain access to the chain plates. We're going to expect those. Um, you're going to, you're going to be working on the forward cabin area, cleaning that up and getting the bed made and everything like that, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Those are some of our main goals that we want to achieve in this video and also we are going to see a few things working for the first time. We're going to inspect the uh, windlass up on the forward portion of the deck and we'll do a deck walkthrough real quick on the boat as well so we can see how the upper deck of the boat is laid out. And uh, yeah, we just hope to accomplish a few things just to really start digging into our new to us boat and seeing what we have, seeing what works and setting up a list of projects that we're going to need to do to get things fixed and operational along the way. Um, well, I'm going to do the forward bedroom and then see where I'm at before we run out of time and maybe I can clean the galley or the stove, see if that works. Yep, definitely be getting the stove cleaned and I don't know if we'll be able to test it or not if we have enough time. And then uh, we're going to inspect two of the main chain plates that the surveyor was really throwing a fit about. The one is up in the forward part of the bow for the stay sail, and the other one is on the uh, port side of the boat, where uh, is one of the main shrouds hooks up to that. So we just want to get a good look at those and see what kind of things we got to worry about. So, and uh, we'll go ahead and get this started. So. Did you have anything you wanted to add? No. Okay, so this is the first day of our DIY mode. We're pretty excited and happy to be here doing this. This is what we've been talking about for a long time now. We brought a lot of tools, a lot of bedding, a lot of stuff for the uh, forward cabin. So we have an area to be able to rest at during breaks. And also we decided to start taking the ladder up the backside instead of going over the high side. It's a lot safer that way. First up, we're going to walk the deck layout and show you what the, the upper deck of this boat looks like and the layout it has and some equipment up there as well. So we'll talk about a few things along the way. All right, here we are starting out at the bow of the boat and we're, we're looking at the uh, anchor windlass and looks like we got a couple of <clears throat> anchors here up at the front. Then we have our anchor chain locker in here, wash down pump. And then the uh, foot switch for the windlass. I'm not sure if any of that works yet. Um, I did look at the motor before and it didn't look the greatest, so we'll see. And then we have our uh, down here there's this uh, door that gets into the sail locker area. I have not had that open yet so I don't know what's going on in there. Um, this here, I'm not sure not sure what mounts here but it looks like it was a winch mount for something I'm not sure but option of some sort. And then here we are uh, up here on the bow looking aft. So that's a pretty big boat. Lots of Lots of space up front here. Uh, forward hatch area. And 
we'll walk aft here and check everything out. Some more hatches here. All the lines and everything are definitely weathered. We need some work, a replacement. <clears throat> and we already know for a fact that this mast base leaks into the inside cabin area and uh, I have some ideas on maybe how I might fix that but it needs a boot around it we'll see what goes on see if we can stop the leaking from there but it definitely it's definitely leaking the way it is right now and that thing goes way up need somebody to climb up and <laughs> wash the mast. It's very green. Um, six person life raft. Um, we know that's probably expired. So we just have to assume that's no good. It'll be fun to try it out though. Maybe we'll launch it in the summertime and just see if it, <laughs> if it even would have worked or not. We'll have to replace it. They only last for so long. <clears throat> I like this the, the Dodger area here. That's a pretty nice idea. It's all going to need to be uh, new again. So we'll be fixing that. And then this is definitely one area that's going to need some work because that's uh, obviously been leaking into the deck area. Just continue walking back. And this is the propane locker area here. And those are kinda, hmm, looks like they've seen better days. We'll probably be replacing those. Well, we're going to be replacing those with new ones. And uh, we're going to get the stove working. And so we can use it while we're here on the boat working on it. Uh, I really like this back deck area because it's got these back seats here. These are going to be... Those are going to be fun when, it's, when we're out sailing and stuff. People can hang out back here. Got a nice um, walk down area to get in and out of the water, which is cool. I like that. And then uh, that's looking into the cockpit area. Right there. So. And then there's another one of the seats over here. It's pretty cool. I like it. That's how we're getting on and off the boat right now. We're going to climb up that ladder and get on here. Uh, we were coming over the side at first, but that's just kind of scary. It's got a nice radar, uh, nice arch back here. I'm not sure about this whole track vision thing. Probably gonna get rid of that. And uh, I'm gonna find a way to mount some solar panels on here. Cause uh, we're gonna need it. But yeah, the dinghy will normally hang off these lines back here. And you can raise and lower it in and out of the water, which is cool. I like that. And then uh, there's an outboard mounted over here. Got a barbecue mounted there. It's just a nice area, nice area to put those things. Go walking forward a little bit. So yeah, that's 52 feet. It's big. And then here we are inside the cockpit area. That's how you get down inside the boat. Nice electric winch there. Everything comes inside the cockpit, so it makes it really nice. Um, when we actually do get sailing on this boat, it'll be very easy to handle. Everything comes in here, so it works out really nice that way. And it's cool. It's going to work out nice. Got these nice areas to store your lines and everything, so that's good. Uh, the wood's going to need, I don't know, 
not sure some of this can be saved some of it maybe not I don't I don't like that split right there so I'll have to figure out what we're gonna do with that it's definitely not on the priority list but at some point I want to get to that and uh, redo this wood I'm gonna redo all the uh, these uh, this is pretty solid it's not I mean it's it's thick it's not like uh, the regular plastic stuff like over here this stuff's kind of soft but I don't know it's interesting it's gonna it's got the potential to be really nice but it's gonna need some work about that over there control area there I like all the wood in here this is very nice this is gonna be a great area to be uh, steering from and just sailing and all kinds of cool stuff I like the wood steering wheel it's very nice and then we have uh, we have some electronics I'm not I haven't powered them up yet I think they work but we'll see um, maybe we'll have to update them maybe we don't I'm not sure might be good for now if they work that's cool good enough to start out with I'm gonna go from there so Oh, we'll see. Got a lot to, lot to learn and figure out on this one. Hmm. Doesn't look like that has any fluid in it, so I'm gonna assume that. <clears throat> I'm gonna assume that doesn't work. Got the engine control area right here. Oh yeah, and I. Uh, I accidentally put a hole in the plastic here with my big foot. Let's see what's under here. I think it's more rope storage. Oh yeah. But yeah, it's nice and nice and roomy. We can put uh, quite a few people can sit back here if they want. So. We're gonna head down and see how Anyways. baby's doing in the forward cabin area. There was a lot of bags and a lot of clutter in there and we'll see what she's doing to it. I know she's planning on making it into a little uh, nap and resting space for us. So we'll see how she's doing on that. We're gonna see what baby's up to here. She should be working on the bed. Hey baby, what do you got going on in here? Oh, hi honey. Hey. I'm trying to finish setting up our new bedroom. Oh yeah. Looks like you're making the bed? Yep, I do, and I'm almost there. Okay, I'll check back in with you in a little bit. I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be working on some projects on the back, uh, trying to find out where some of these leaks and stuff are coming from in the back, uh, back cabin area. All so, right. And I might check the chain plates. We'll see what's going on, but I just wanna see what you're up to. Make sure you got something going on. Yep. Okay, course. cool. Check it, making sure I'm not on my phone. Yeah, well, we're, we're both supposed to be doing something here, so right. just checking up on you. Okay. All right, catch you later. I love you, honey. Bye. Love you, baby. Bye. Up next, we need to inspect the forward stay sail chain plate. This was a big turning point on the survey and threw everything in a big chaos. Hopefully this goes well. Okay, so one of the big areas of concern on this boat was the chain plate located in this area here. And this was the part where the surveyor was losing his mind. So... We want to do is see what he saw and see if we can figure something out from it. Okay, so we're going to take a look. We'll open up this hatch locker door here and see what we find. Okay, and so then when we got the doors open, then the surveyor came in here with his hammer similar to this one here and started doing this. really hard like this and you can see the panels moving and everything and he's like there's no way no way this boat is ready to go to sail and all of us were like oh my gosh this is terrible so what are we gonna do so and you can see down inside here that there has been some previous repair done in this area so we're like oh man yep there's the repair so it didn't look like it doesn't look like it's been done very well. 
And so this structure here is what basically ended the survey day. So at this point, this is where the survey pretty much started falling apart. And he said he was not going to further, uh, he said he was not going to continue on with the survey. And this boat was rotten to the core, not worth buying, not worth salvage, not worth anything. Basically scrap value. So we took it for what he said was true. We didn't know any better at the time. And that's what we went with. So, but now upon uh, the fact we bought the boat, now we're looking at it for ourselves and trying to find out what we need to do to fix the situation. So what we'll do is here, I'll take the camera and I'll tip it back and you'll see what we see. If you look way back, if you look way back here, you will see the chain plate is not attached to this at all. It's attached to the bulkhead. Right there. Okay? That's what we need to be looking at. So let's take a look for ourselves and see what we find. Is the chain plate going to fall out, tear out through the hole? Let's see. sounds pretty good to me. Let's see. We're going to tap the other side now. The louder the tone you hear there, that's multiple layers of fiberglass. So it's going to make a different sound than the other layers like I'll show you over here on this side so you can hear what I'm tapping on and see it at the same time there's a little spot right here but it's a very small area the rest of it sounds pretty good to me I'm no expert now you can see there's streaks on the on the surface of the chain plate and it's clear that water has been leaking through the top access plate of the chain plate we're not going to argue that so this is the chain locker right here okay this is where this is where the the surveyor was hitting on that divider strip and saying that the chain plate was all rotted now that's as far back as he could hit then we continue further aft right here is where the chain plate is at not forward where he was hitting all right, we're gonna go ahead and get this open. So I don't know how these gonna come out, but let's see. Okay, so each one of the heads has a slot guard in it. I just not realize that. That must mean something. Oh, okay, they're, they're just quarter turning, they're not more than that. Because as soon as I turn, I feel something release. Oh yeah, <clears throat> so they're just quarter turn. Same here, and this one here, let's see. Okay, so every time you turn it a quarter, you can feel something release. So let's see what's going on here. It says, it says anchor hatch on here. Okay, that's weird. So you'd think that'd be up forward, but anyways, we already looked in the anchor anchor locker. So okay, huh? Well, there's a lot of moisture in here. That's for sure. So let's kind of see if we can get this off to the side. See what's down in there. Oh man. Well, that's really interesting, huh? Whoa, smells musty down here. Wow. Okay, so this is definitely not an anchor, an anchor hatch, but there is moisture down in there. Hmm. Yeah, it smells like this is, uh, smells like this has had some moisture in here for a while. Very interesting. So, hmm. well, I think if we could have got this opened 
a long time ago, this would have solved a lot of questions about what's going on. Okay, all right, so, okay, here's what we came in here for. You see this right here? What is that? That's the backer plate to the chain plate. Okay, so let me get my hammer here. Now, this is the actual chain plate to the stay sail right here, okay? See how, see how it transitions through the deck right there? Okay, and then that ends up right here. Now this is a backer plate to the actual chain plate. The actual chain plate's on the other side of other side of this bulkhead, and we already tapped around that, and we sounded it, and it sounded pretty good. It wasn't perfect, but it's not like at a critical stage where we've really got to get worried about anything. I am concerned about the level moisture in here. That is something we're going to have to figure out later. But right now, it's nothing nothing major, but I don't like it. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the same thing we did on the other side. Hang on. chain locker is so this is by no means <laughs> critical okay in my uneducated surveyor opinion this is by no means critical is it something that should be looked at yes does it mean the boat's garbage not in my opinion you guys can make your own thoughts maybe somebody out there knows more than I do but uh, I don't think this is garbage at all the boat, the boat deal is done. We bought it, so we'll just leave it at that. Okay, so we're gonna have to look in here and figure out where this moisture is supposed to drain out to. Might be a good idea to leave a lid off of here every now and then. Okay. So, I wonder what those are for. Very interesting. So all this is in here. That's cool. I was, I was looking, looking for, for, you know, maybe, maybe we'd, we'd find some money or something, or something but it must be hidden somewhere else, else on the boat because it's not in here. Hear the difference in sound right here? I can show you why, what's going on with that. If you look right here, see these holes? Something was attached here one time. They took it off and they didn't do a very good job of sealing it. So that's something we're gonna to wanna to work on. Moisture is getting down in there. It's not the end of the world, but we wanna stop that. Things like that, we gotta find them and put a fix on them right away. And then over, over time, come back and do a better repair. Okay, that's it, that's... So in a nutshell, that's what's going on there with that chain plate. And like I said, this was the deal maker or the deal breaker right here where it all went wrong. So what do you think now after seeing this? What do you think? Should the boat be scrapped or should we continue on and try to save her? This is where it all was bad. Everything went bad right here. You've heard how we tapped around it. There is some moisture in that bulkhead. Is it end of the world? No. Is it repairable? Yes. Is it something that has to be done right now? No. Could the boat be sailed in this current condition based on what we found with this chain plate? I would say yes, we could sail the boat. Would I want to cross an ocean with it right now? No. What do you guys think? Make your opinions. Say it in the comments. I know I think it's it. savable. All right, here we are. We're going to check out the windlass. See if this works. Lift the cover here. 
I turn the, the breaker on inside the boat and we'll see what happens here. I have the, uh, I already loosened the clutches here, so should be, should be good to go. Let's see if it works. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool. And it uh, looks like right here, if you watch there, we got a, we have a manual way to crank it up too, probably with a winch handle, so that's cool. Right on. Um, I'm not sure how to let it out to put it in the water, but we'll figure that out. But yeah, that is cool. We've never had a boat with a functioning windlass on it before, so um, this is promising. And hopefully, under a load, it'll be able to lift the anchor and uh, all that cool stuff. So yeah, we'll figure out more on that later, but at least we know it powers up and works. Um, because I'll show you why I was concerned if it didn't even work or not, was take a look under here. Uh, see, that's the motor right there, the motor housing. And uh, yeah, I, I wasn't sure if it even works or not, but Cool. Well, I'm sure that it's going to need to be dropped and motor removed and all that stuff and, and cleaned up, but at least it works. So happy to happy to see that. Let's see what else. Is we're going to check one of the main shroud chain plates next, and we're going to do a tap test around it to, to test for delamination and possible water damage. And we have a strong suspicion there's going to be some found. Okay, we're going to go over some of the sounds around the chain plate here. Hear that? Hear that? That's that's. Hear this? This is this is what we're looking for right here. This sound. That's the sound we're looking for. Hear how it changes? Hear that? How dull? And then back to good. So right here in this area. Hear that? So there's some there's some damage in there. Okay, but it's not the end of the world. It doesn't mean the chain plate's gonna rip out of the boat. It just means that we got some delamination going on here. More than likely, there's some water in here, and in here, and maybe possibly right around in here. So nothing major. Something we have the technology to overcome. Up next, we'll go down inside the main cabin and we're going to remove the panels to get access to the inside of the lower part of this chain plate. We'll see what we find in there next. Okay, we're going to look for access behind here for the next chain plate. I already loosened these up, but I just want to show what's going on here. Having just a little bit of trouble getting this out, but we'll get it out here in just a second. We didn't realize quite how big or heavy it really was. That's uh, quite the uh, chain plate cover there. All right, let's see what's going on here. Grab a flashlight. So here I wanted to grab a flashlight and get a little bit better look with the light on it just to see what's going on in there. And uh, yeah, right there, it looks like it's pretty well saturated with resin. I thought it was wet at first, but it's not. It's, in, it's very solid, so it looks to me like this chain plate and the chain plate structure that it's mounted to looks like it's really solid and intact. Okay, we'll put that one back together. Count that one as good. The surveyor never even got this far on, on an inspection of the chain plate here. He just looked at it from up on the deck and wrote it off and saying it was junk and was going to rip through the deck. After doing our own inspection, we feel a little bit better about what we saw and we'd like to hear what you guys think. What are your thoughts? Our plan is to personally inspect each and every chain plate on this boat. Upper decks, lower decks, tabbing to the hull, everything. But we wanted to look at these two first because these are the two for two main chain plates that the surveyor was saying we're going to rip through the decks of this boat and that's basically where everything ended from there so we wanted to get these out of the way and see what we saw 
Next up, we're going to see how baby's doing on the oven and the stove top. She's been cleaning that for a long time, and this thing looked pretty rough when we first bought the boat, and we were wondering if we were going to be able to get it to clean up or not, but let's see how she's doing. All right, well, so it looks like uh, baby's going to be able to save the top surface of the stove, so she's got this easy off, and it's going to hopefully do some really good things here. She's got a, she made some progress over here in this area right here. Good job, baby. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing really good. Thank you for your Yeah, thank you for your help. Of course, honey. All right. You're all right. And here's the stove after uh, after she cleaned it all up, man. It turned out really good. It's a lot better than it was. Got a little oven in there for her cooking pizza and stuff. So the only thing you know, we don't know is uh, if it works. So that'll be one of the plans. We'll get the propane tanks. Uh, we'll take those with us today when we leave. And we'll we'll get them filled if we can, if they're still serviceable. And if not, then we're going to replace them and get some new ones. And then uh, we'll hook everything up, test it out. We know that the uh, propane control panel back here works. We know that works. But um, we don't know if it lets propane through the system or not. But we'll find out. That's going to be the next step. So next time. Anyways, looks good. Hopefully we don't have to replace this. All right, and then we got the microwave here. She got that cleaned up really good too, so it's pretty nice. It's actually nice and uh, round inside, but very clean. And one of the really neat features of this is right here. Let's check that out. We've got a little toaster action here. Yep. We can burn some bread while we're out at sea. Run the generator in here. If you want uh, toaster flakes, got your own little catch right here. So you can put that in your uh, coffee or your oatmeal or orange juice or whatever you want to do with them. Yeah, pretty cool. And then uh, we got this coffee maker here. We don't know if that works or not, but it's brand new, it's brand new in the box. And so we're probably going to be using that because we can't fit much, uh, much taller coffee maker in there so that'll work now thanks to baby cleaning up the galley now we have a place to cook and prepare meals while we're working on the boat and we'll be able to eat decent food while we're working here so that's a good job thank you baby let's head to the forward cabin all right so baby tell us what you think about the forward bedroom and what have you done to it so far well I really like this bedroom as you can see there's a lot of room in here and there's not really much um, work needs to be done. Basically, I changed all the beds to beddings to make it clean. So we have some space where we can rest while working the boat. Oh yeah, because we got to be able to have a place to take a nap every once in a while. Yep. Even though we can't stay the night on the boat, we still can take naps here while we're working. Um, and a place to rest so or somewhere for you to hang out while I'm working on projects or a combination or whatever, right? Yeah, not yet anyways. Yeah, so basically before when we first purchased the boat there was lots of bags and stuff like that in here, right? And so far it looks really nice and I like the woods and I like all the rooms where we can put all our stuff in here, the drawers and stuff, so... All the toys and stuff? <laughs> um, so, what were in the bags? It was all blankets, beadings, but I don't really want, or we don't really want to reuse it. I mean, some probably will still reuse it, but we decided not to and gave it to Goodwill. Yeah, we donated it. So, I would say probably one of the one of the early projects we'd like to do in here would probably be the lighting, right? Oh, yes. The lighting, all oh, that, we kind of don't like that one. And yeah, basically we're gonna change all the lighting. Yeah, all the lighting in here needs to be redone. But surprisingly, this area doesn't have any water damage in it that we could see. Um, there might be a little bit hidden somewhere we don't know about, but otherwise it looks pretty good, huh? Oh yeah, it's yeah. like 99%, it looks cute. And how's the bed feel? How's the mattress? It's comfortable. Yeah. That's it's good. very comfortable, yeah. 
Um, so anyways, uh, it's nice and quiet in here. Very quiet. You can't even hear what's going on outside. It's like very quiet, comfortable. Oh my gosh. So even though the boat's on the hard right now, which means it's on stands, it's out of the water, it's still really quiet in here and you can't hear any of the work going on out in the yard on the other boats or any of the equipment driving by or anything. It's very quiet in here. Uh, baby's done, you've done a really good job at cleaning this up and making it look like ours. You've made the bed really nice with our own stuff. Mm -hmm. Cleaned up all the bags of stuff that was in here mm -hmm. and really did a good job. So I don't see where we have to do a lot of work in here, which is a nice thing. We have one room on the boat that we don't have to worry about messing with too much on here. So yeah, so we got this nice room here on the boat and it's big. I would say on the plus side, you know how we talk about the Pearson 53 and we really love that boat and all that, but the Pearson 3 did not have a forward cabin the size of this one. The V-berth on that was, uh, it was pretty good size, but it was a V-berth bed. This is actually a real bed, a normal bed, and we can get on and off from either side of it individually. So we're not waking each other up. And we don't have that centerpiece that has to drop in or pull out. We have one continuous mattress in here, which is really nice. So looking back, I mean, we both really like the Pearson 53 a lot, but I would say this forward cabin on this boat is very roomy. And if, if anything, I think it's it feels big. it feels bigger than the one on the, on the 53. So, you know, that's the thing about boats. There's always a compromise on everything. You can't have everything all in one boat. And uh, we're happy with what we have here. So we're very pleased with the purchase. And it's nice to have one room on the boat that we don't really have to do a lot in here. Yeah. With the exception of some of these, these lights right here. Gonna... Yeah, and uh, the one back here and these bulkhead lights, they all kind of, they don't do their job very well. So I think we're going to have you do those. We'll have you do the lighting upgrades in here and um, see what you can do with this place for lighting and make it look really nice and brighten it up a little bit in here. Lots of beautiful woodwork in here and it's solid so we don't have to worry about any major projects going on in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was the very first project I did because we want a place where we can take a nap or rest so while we're working in the boat. Yep. So while I was working on other things, you were in here cleaning this place up mm -hmm. and making it making it livable for us so we could at least have a place to rest. So it's basically this is our weekend house. Yeah, our weekend hangout. Until we get the boat ready to go in the water, which who knows when that will be. One thing's for sure, we're happy with it, right? Oh yeah, yep. we're very happy. Very happy with this purchase. She's not perfect. None of the boats we looked at were perfect, but this one is now ours and we're really happy to see that. So things worked out really well for us in the end on this one. Stay tuned to, to our next videos. See ya. See you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys, stay tuned as we keep working on our DIY projects or new to us boat. Stay tuned till next week. Bye. Bye. Stay tuned, coming up next, the moment we've all been waiting for, DIY project mode coming up. Now there's a nice looking shell, I'd keep that one. And what's that? My idea. Oh, we got a boat coming. This guy. Nice. Dang. Five engines on the back. Oh, sweet.